to a big scare at the Bloomsburg Fair. A helicopter that provides sightseeing trips crashes into the parking lot, injuring three people. Eyewitness News reporter Morgan Parrish joins us live from the scene. And Morgan, what's the latest this morning? Copy that. Kelly, there were three people on the flight. We can confirm that one was the pilot, and witnesses tell me that the other two were a mother and child. As you can see, the helicopter is completely totaled. The crash happened around 7.30 last night, and we're told the chopper landed on four cars and ended up spewing diesel fuel everywhere. The FAA and the NTSB are investigating a sightseeing helicopter crash at the Bloomsburg Fair. It happened last night around 7.30 when the chopper collided with four parked cars in a fairgrounds parking lot. A pilot and two passengers were on board the helicopter. They were taken to the hospital with what appeared to be minor injuries. Here's what the police chief had to say. We got a call of a report of a helicopter down at the fair. We responded. We were in the area and it, we were here in approximately four minutes. There were medical personnel on scene when we arrived treating the pilot of the helicopter and he was transported for medical treatment. The FAA issued a statement concerning the crash. It says, quote, a helicopter crashed south of the helipad at the Bloomsburg Fair. The statement went on to say the FAA will investigate and the NTSB will determine the probable cause of the accident. We're told that the injuries were non-life-threatening. For now, in Bloomsburg, Morgan Parrish, Eyewitness News. All right, Morgan, thank you. A scary situation there. Of course, we'll continue to follow the latest on this crash throughout the day, both on air and on our website, pahomepage.com. This isn't the first time the Bloomsburg Fair had an issue with a helicopter. In 2013, 69-year-old helicopter pilot Carl Enlow of Redding was killed. He was being relieved by another pilot when his hat blew off. When he reached to grab it, he walked into the path of the rotor.